Welcome back to an episode of School Airway. I gotta teach you one MacGyver maneuver that you, the bougie becomes your friend. So some of these patients may be exposed to superheated heat, have thermal injury, angioedema, uh, acute anaphylaxis, airways closing up, and you get a good view. But for some reason, the airway is getting smaller and smaller, and your tube is not fitting. Perhaps if I railroad a bougie through the ET tube, through the entrance that I'm trying to pass, I will get the tube in. Perhaps. Sounds well. Learn this idea from uh, an article, case report about a person with a shrapnel with a spanning hematoma. Hematoma is almost covering the entrance of the glottic opening with the air tract inserted. They put a bougie in first, so if the ET tube passed and hit that hematoma and burned that hematoma, he ensured the airway was, the, uh, the passage of the ET tube was guaranteed into the airway. So in that way, I started to think, why can't I use the same kind of idea with a bougie? So, I try to I would intubate, I would see badness, I try to push the tube in, some difficulties, so what would I do, I'd guide my bougie, coup de tip down, and try to pass it. Now let's go as far as you can to the carina and then try to railroad my ET tube past. Overcoming the edema, the obstruction, perhaps even epiglottitis. Alright. There's passage. You do your routine, inflate the cuff, acetate, put a capnometer. Hey, there'll be people who won't believe that your tube is in, and guess what? What was the lesson I recently taught? Push it to the left of the mouth. Turn this on. And use it to visualize that the tube is in. And it is. Bam. Just another way of using channel devices in a safe manner. Patient safety first. Less the ego of the doctor. The bougie is your friend. If the air track is your friend, the bougie definitely is your friend. Please come back for another episode of School Railway. Good night.